Are you ready to take back America? Yes. 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 We've got to take back New York first, by the way. Yes. We've got two big problems if you're in New York. A dysfunctional government in Albany and dysfunctional government in Washington. So I'm here because the people want me here. I went around the state and made my case and got hundreds and hundreds of people to carry my petitions and ended up with those. I just wanted you to know. So I'm in this primary and I will win it. It's not their money they're spending, it's other people's. In this case, we're spending the money from the next generation and we're borrowing from China. Somebody's got to pay that money back. Exposing a $63 trillion debt bond. Would you believe the national debt is $63 trillion? It's not $13 trillion. When you add to the bonded debt, the treasury bills, that's bonded debt, treasury bills, savings bonds, treasury notes, when you add to it the pensions for military personnel, the VA benefits, civil service pensions, because they don't fund those either, that's another $5 trillion. When you add to it Social Security and Medicare, guess what that is? $45 trillion. Not some accountants, actuaries computed that, and they discounted it back so that you would have the right value for that. $8 trillion for Social Security, $37 trillion for Medicare, Part A, Part B, and the drug Part D. This is what we owe for the people working now that are entitled to those benefits. But we're not finished. We have something else called government-sponsored enterprises. The bottom line is very simply, we're spending money we don't have, we're borrowing from countries, China and Saudi Arabia with the oil, China with the money, these are countries that really don't share our values, and we're putting the American dream in jeopardy.